Lucy's Toys. So again, um, I'm here at the Centennial Park in Nashville, Tennessee, and I just met Tom, and as a grandma, of course. Look at these wonderful animals. Um, show us some of the more unusual ones first, Tom. Well, we make a lot of puppets. These are stuffed, puppets. but they're also a puppet, so you can reach in the stuffed toy and make the uh, puppet work like a Oh, he's adorable. Oh, thank you. And how much is something with all of that work in it? This one's 58. Ah, should Most be 358 <laughs> in my book. And you were sharing with me that your mother started this how She's many been, years ago? Started in 1966, been doing it 52 years. And on a home sewing machine, which she quickly realized she needed a industrial machine, which you shared with me is a Juki and... We have a couple of Juki and a couple of uh, cut line. Uh -huh. Just an industrial walking yeah. foot machine. I, I, I said to Tom, I imagine his lungs, his lungs are full of these fibers, which well, is basically polyester, isn't it? It is acrylic? a polymer, so it's all hypoallergenic, and everything's washable. Everything's washable. This is actually the first puppet she ever made. We call her Stomper. It comes in about eight colors. Uh -huh. It's just a long-legged crazy bird. Oh, he's wonderful. And he's how much? He's 29 Oh, $29. Now, start to finish, how much time would that take? Uh, well, two days. <laughs> yeah, but we make a lot at one time. So she makes all the feet and all the legs. And yeah. Come, so she does a lot at one time. And is this all still in home? Oh, yeah. My mom, my sister, and I, and one other lady make everything. Oh, my. Yeah. So this is your living? Oh, yeah. I've been doing it, like I said, 50 something years. Oh, my. And what's your specific job, Tom? I do all the cutting. Cutting? Uh, we have a, yeah, big cutting knife. We used to cut everything by hand, but now we do a cutting knife. Layers about six inches thick. So Six I do all the cutting, and then we all do some of this turning and stuffing and stuff like that. Yeah. But my sister puts on the eyes. Mom is really the creative genius as far as the uh -huh. patterns. Right, and she said she makes her own patterns. Oh, yeah. Now, does she patterns. sell the patterns? Uh, no, we don't. No, that's your property. Yeah. 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 So show us a few more of your original, unusual. Well, they're all original. She makes all of her own puppets. This is a fun one, too. Instead of being stuffed like the dragon, it's got a double lining in the neck so that he can pull his head. <laughs> Too cute. Too cute. And the eyes. Um, grandmas are always worried, you know, kids swallowing. So well, these look a eyes. little commercial. They are, mm -hmm. but they're federally approved child safe. It has a big washer on the back. So washer. the eye itself is like a mushroom shape and the stem of that mushroom goes through a one-way clamp. Okay. You have to break them to get them off. Okay. And the stuffing, what are you stuffing them it's with? It's 100% polyester, polyfill. 100% conjugated polyfill, so it's all okay. hypoallergenic and machine washable, because okay. it is washable. So only you haven't gone to any of the like poly pellets? Uh, we do that on our little bean bags. Uh -huh. uh, so these are, instead of being bean filled, they're like a polyester filling. Yeah. The little pig is real popular. We do it, of course, in the pink, but then the spotted pig is fun. Yeah. And they have some of the polyfill that's a conjugated fiber, but it also has the beans uh -huh. to give it some weight. This one, there is so much work to stuffing. I teach young girls in my sewing studio, and when they make something with stuffing, I keep saying a little bit at a time, and you got to get it in there. I made a doll for my granddaughter, and I used the poly pellets first, and I thought it looked like the doll's legs had cellulite, so <laughs> I took it out and replaced it. Yeah, the conjugated it. polyfill is nice. Yeah. Look here at this sloth. It's a sloth, yep. <laughs> and it actually has Velcro on the hands and feet, so you can hang it up. Uh, and we make a lot of big pillow type toys, uh -huh. which are good for little kids to ride. But Look at I that elephant. People... He's only 149. Well, and the solid one's 89. The patchwork is unusual because he's. It was, came actually originally as a special request, and then we just kept making it. Well, I think your prices are about a fourth of what they should. Well, be. that one is for sure. <laughs> but not everybody appreciates but we the make work. Unusual ones. Yeah. I like the woolly mammoth. And tell me about these uh, quilts back here. Uh, the blankets, they're basically a double-sided polyester blanket. Uh -huh. So what's nice about them is all of them have a solid material on the back. But there's no batting in there to wad up. So right. literally right in the washing machine, cold water. Uh -huh. Yeah, these are the best thing we make. And is that, are, is that a way are, of using scraps? No, no. This is the most of our fabric goes into our blankets. Okay. And not the patchwork. We actually cut those for the blankets as well. So you obviously purchase your fabric wholesale. We did, but it's still very expensive. <laughs> yes, yes. And it would take a lot of room for storage. Yeah. Huge. It is. And then these are also blankets, but they're like a, have an applique sewed on them. This is actually the first design my mom made. So it's like a stuffed toy on a blanket. And this actually one is okay, the only one here. that has a toy that comes out. <laughs> so this is not 
Is it zigzag on there or It is not zigzag, stitch? but the material itself is an interlocking woven fabric. Yes. So the cut edge doesn't unravel. Okay. So it is top stitched on there, but it's not zigzagged. Okay. I have many people literally tell me crib to college. The only thing their daughter took to college was their blanket, or the only thing their son took to college was their blanket <laughs> that they got as a child gift when they were born. Oh my, and the blankets are? The one that I showed you like that, the kangaroo, all those are the same price, 119, uh -huh. and they measure four by five feet. I was gonna ask the size. Yeah, which is a good size for kids. It's big enough for a twin, uh -huh. but not too big for kids to drag around. These are full size, the first one I showed you. Yeah, I think the puppets really grab my eye. <laughs> That's like what's been popular the last few years, it seems like. Teddy uh -huh. bear yeah. And they, bear. she adds a new one every year. So they've literally, when we first went, when I was a little kid, we used a hat rag with about eight puppets, two or three colors each. Now there's 80 different puppets. Wow. We're making our first round here, but granddaughter, this might have to have a <laughs> They are fun. And a lot of them move their mouths. There's some of the ones, the older style puppet you know, would move its hands instead of its mouth. So uh -huh. this is one of the, and this one comes in about eight colors. The bunny rabbit, lop eared bunny. Oh, he's so cute. So you said he moves his mouth as well? He does not. Oh, he does not. Older style ones. puppets don't, didn't move their mouth, like all okay. the way back to Kukla Friend and Ollie. You know, they would move their hands, but not their mouth. Okay. Now most puppets move their mouth. So how big of a space do you work in? Well, we had a little farmhouse that was on a farm that my folks bought like 40 years ago and yeah. she does it in that farmhouse. Okay. And then they actually built a little addition to that as well. And home base is? Anniston, Alabama. Alabama. All right. That's thank cool. you so much, Don. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. XYZ and more like sure. And if she likes it or thinks a lot, it'll be a good seller. So tell us about your grandmother you said again. She was the first member of what? She was one of the first members of the Southern Highland Guild, which is a guild in Asheville, North Carolina. Right. Second oldest craft guild in the United States, did needlework, tapestries, literally uh -huh. sewed her name on tapestries with her old sewing machine that was a treadle foot. Wow. So she was amazing. So mom grew up doing needlework. Yeah, and then, yeah. See what teaching your kids how to sew can <laughs> lead to, ladies? All right, well, thank you again so much. Thanks, it was nice talking to you.